Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life and we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen and today we have Ty and Biel here and today we're going to talk about working together as partners in life and as business partners. Cue the intro. Real-time creative solutions, and you guys are business partners. Yes. And so how long has that business been about? We're about to get a year, exactly. Dang. I think uh, it's going to be one full year, August, like, you got the date. Yeah, August 10th? <laughs> yeah, it's August like, 10th. yeah. And so how did that come about? So it came about because we were already doing it before a year, but mm -hmm. we really wanted to take our business to a next level. It was more like a hobby. He was, he's was he been DJing parties since, what, since high school? Early high school. <laughs> Early high school, and I've been like interested in business and yeah. creating a business for myself and for my future for a really long time. And I don't even think interested in business puts it in words. Come on, don't humble yourself too much. <laughs> like, 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 she has a master's in creative business enterprise. Okay. So that's her first master's. That's legit. So don't think she's like kind of interested. No, she knows yeah, what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she got her room thing. That's why I love her. So it just made sense. And you've been an entertainer as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All yeah. this time. All mm -hmm. my life. And so you, have you guys worked together before? No, we haven't. But it's funny is that's how we kind of reunited in meeting. <laughs> That's kind of, it's kind of cool because uh, we met in high school. We had crushes on each other. You know, life kind of panned its different ways. Yeah. And you know, she moves to Michigan, I stay in Chicago. We live our lives and then I guess career time comes and I'm like, man, I'm looking for advice on how I can do therapy. Cause I was doing uh, physical therapy. Okay. So um, with dance, cause my, um, my boss knew I was a dancer. Okay. So I'm like, I have no idea how I can include dance with my, like his patients and everything. Yeah. Uh, and I had a friend that said, hey, do you, do you remember who Ty Reagans is? I'm like, yes, I do. I slid into her DM. <laughs> I slid in the DM. Hey. Goes down in the DM. And I, I continuously tell her that it was strictly professional mm -hmm. and she's, she doesn't believe me till this day. Yeah. But, um, our first conversation was, uh, hey, I'm thinking of um, doing some dance movement therapy. I see you're a dancer. I see you have an interest in dance movement therapy. I, I would like to learn more about it. And then that phone call was like three, four hours of just like knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it was just so good. I'm, I loved it. I, yeah. I'm like, man, I can talk to this girl for hours and not even notice. So right away, right away we were collaborating. We were already collaborating, even in like our first conversation mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. just sharing our art and our passion and our talent mm -hmm. and because it was, picking each other's brains, really. Because technically it was like my boss at the chiropractor wanted to start a business. He wanted, yeah. to, he wanted to expand his business into dancing. And I'm like, I'm a dancer. Let's, so it's already like a creative idea. So I think real-time creative solutions kind of sprung there. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, I got a creative idea. Let's try this. Yeah. You know, so and so it started at that moment, but then you know, moment just of, took some time yeah. to kind of like flourish and it like get creative. Definitely. Yeah, I love that. I feel like it's always like a natural thing, right? Like I did a video with Sunny when we talked about working together and it was like, we were already doing things together, but then mm -hmm. making it official mm -hmm. was like important. I mean, your names are in your name. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean to y'all? Oh, it's awesome. It, it, <laughs> I, I'm excited that we get to give something to our kids one day. Yeah. They're like, wow, well, my dad was known as real. My mom was known as Ty. I, we now own real time. Like that's, yeah. that's like, to me, that's what means a lot to me the most. Uh, what do I do? I think it's just important for me. It means a lot, like you're saying, to pass that down to my children. And then one, just to continue a legacy of excellence, mm -hmm. um, specifically thinking about my family and the legacy that I come from I'm just really passionate about being a businesswoman about mm -hmm. starting my own thing about making sure that my family can support each other based mm -hmm. on our art and based on our passion and not our nine to five now my nine to five is great and I love what I do and mm -hmm. I love that I can do something that I'm really talented at for somebody else but I think it's something to be said about my passion and my calling yeah and it's a beautiful thing to work together with my family and with my husband mm -hmm. in our passion and our calling that is yeah. and paralleling yeah. and intertwining and I love it because the the word itself is 
kind of punish yeah i guess you say because like oh we're here in real time like it, it makes sense and i think it makes sense a lot that we kind of collaborate really well together and we finish what each other doesn't have compliment and balance yeah, yeah. because she she's you know she's good at the books she's good if it wasn't for ty we would have never been official like honestly like she's like you know getting everything together uh behind the scenes amazing she's much better at that than i am i think it worked out you know, it's great. How has this experience been? How has this, this past year been? Awesome. Lessons. <laughs> yeah. Lessons. Awesome. Awesome. I think awesome. I think lessons in themselves are awesome, right? Because they're the things that help us grow and help us get better. But we've learned a lot about each other as business partners, I think. Mm -hmm. And I, inherently in a marriage, you are partners. You are mm -hmm. a a business if you want to think of it like that you are yeah. Yeah. a partnership and i think so many things and lessons we learn outside of our business that help us with our business and i think so many lessons we learn in our business that help us with our life and our purpose and yeah. our marriage i remember the beginning there was a lot of like unmet expectations as business partners like I expected you to do this. I expected you to do that. Yeah. But you have a degree in this. But you already have been doing that. So it's like those type of things. like Which that lesson, people, is no one is a mind reader. Right. So we can't. Right. We can't know each other's expectations because I don't know what's in his head and he doesn't know what's mm -hmm. in mine. So a big lesson we learned was like, assuming communicate, and... talk about it. Then I tell you what I expect and it no longer becomes like this expectation but it's a clear like we've talked about this we've communicated this this is now a need that you know so i think mm -hmm. there are so many things that we've learned that without being business partners i'm not sure if we would have such yeah. a success it's strength marriage. in our marriage being business partners yeah. for sure i think communication literally comes up almost in every single episode. every single episode it's intertwined in everything yeah. right and i think Sometimes it feels redundant, like communication, communication. But if you don't speak what you need, if you don't express what is bothering you, then things will never get resolved. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing that I've learned is, you know, I think I was like the manager of the household and whatnot. But then there's times where it's Sunu kind of takes over. Yeah. And there's moments where I need him to kind of take that place too. But it's communicating that. Yeah. Right? Or him noticing how I'm acting or what I need at the time, like what kind of support I need. And so that's what's nice about being like life partners and then business partners you know everything is connected right right mm -hmm. like i think you put your life and your work like together yeah absolutely and so mm -hmm. when you do it with your life partner then it's like a full circle yeah, yeah. Right? No, I agree. When you have your wife, you know, someone that you've already invested your life to improve, to cater, to love, to cherish, like it's you're you're gonna support them in the business mm -hmm. as much as possible, more than any other business partner could possibly do, because you want what's best for that person. Yeah. So she really wants me to succeed. So it's awesome to have her having my back over all these events, making sure everything is going smooth. Like, you know, my forgetful self sometimes, she's on top of it, mm -hmm. all those type of things. So it definitely helps everything go super smooth. You you definitely want the best for each other. And I feel like you kind of know what's best yeah. for mm -hmm. that person, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, in any situation, you would be probably the best partner than like a random stranger. Right, yeah, right? of course. And I also think in that, right, like I think that I'm the best partner for him because I also understand that we are human right and he understands that i'm human so like in my nine to five or like in my professional world before i started this right mm -hmm. there was little room for error there was little room yeah. to be human right you're climbing up this corporate ladder and you have to present and be a certain way and i think it's so beautiful to work in a partnership to know that like we are designed to be imperfect we're mm -hmm. designed to make mistakes so like mistakes are gonna happen yeah and like we can either butt heads like we we did in the past right and not know how to navigate them or we can like show compassion and show understanding and navigate our resilience a little bit better rather than that like sticky you know how it is when you're wanting to be perfect and then you mess up and then the shame comes and it's hard to navigate right but if you have a partnership if you have a business if you have something with somebody that you care about mm -hmm. you can be compassionate to that person when they mess up right and you want what's best for them so you're gonna tell them what you think is best for them but you're also gonna realize like it's a part of the journey it's a part of the process yeah and I, I definitely connect with that because I feel like there's still that sense of guilt that you may have when you work a nine-to-five and you make a mistake but you know that that person is is still there yeah right and yeah. They're, they're gonna have your back and they're thinking um, of like how they can support you better yeah. so that next time you know maybe that mistake doesn't happen or you know what can we do next time as a partnership as a you know working together right to 
finally answer the full question of how has your first year been like you know mm -hmm. besides growth besides learning like let's like talking about like numbers and talking about like how the business itself has grown we started off as we're gonna cater to providing music to people who need music so mm -hmm. whatever it may be if it's children if it's private events if it's um, your most precious event like weddings and then it kind of kind of took a shift and you know since we're both connected to so many different talents of, of all sources through our jobs through our work through our career Careers, like it's transformed into more of a connecting people together and that's what we are we're, we're a connecting people yeah. company yeah so, we're connectors too yeah that's yeah. why we can we're we're we yeah. connectors when we first i guess started our first like kind of finding our brand we call ourselves the plug we are the plug you know yeah. whatever you need we, we got, got you. it we, we got, got it yeah. and it's now turned into like all of the people that we believe are our life partners in mm -hmm. relationships and friendships are now our business partners so we yeah. can all come together as a community of friends can all rise together so it's cool that our circle is so talented and our yeah. circle is so so that's what that's what we want to do and i think that's a cool little reflect reflection on our marriage like we are each other's plug we got each other like i can confidently say without a doubt whether it's in my business whether it's in my personal professional spiritual whatever it is like he's got me and that's been proven so many times and I hope right in the same way I can say confidently like we mirror that to each other and I think that's an important thing that we keep at the foundation of our marriage and I think that's inherently been echoed in our professional lives and in our business now too yeah I love that our website has launched it is realtime.com check it out and that's connected to our also Facebook page and Instagram page which is realtime creative solutions and hopefully you guys check it out our amazing people we just look at their website it looks great you will see uh, you know we, we live in a very diverse community within our just friend group through our upbringing. But we're a biracial couple. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I'm half Mexican, half Colombian. My beautiful wife, African American. If you see all the talent that we represent, we, we want we represent everyone of all nations, of all people. So we just can't wait to connect them together. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks appreciate for having us. Thank you all so much for watching. We do this every single week at the Upside Down Spanish Show. Come through. Bye bye.